So welcome back to my channel today and we are doing another Sims 4 mod review in the Sims 4 That made zero sense. But anyway, we are doing another mod review and it's been a while since I've even last done a mod review So I'm a little bit rusty just so you know a little bit rusty there But um, this is actually called the slumber party mod and it's actually only for your for your child Sims and this mod was actually created by Brit Pinky Sims. And I think this mod is actually pretty cool. Like the mods that she's been creating so far, like the prom mod, the baby shower mod is like those two mods are like so much fun to play with. And I think this this mod is going to be like even better to play with because like now my Sims, my ch well technically my child Sims can actually be more social and have friends for once in their entire life. Like all they do is like go to school and then that's pretty much it. But they never really have a chance to actually play with or like hang out with their friends afterwards. So I think that this mod will be a lot of fun for my child sims because it is. So it says this mod will allow your child sims to throw a summer party with their friends. The gameplay ex like involves with custom whims like having your like your child sims saying oh I want to throw a summer party and they like actually can do that now. So and it's also a base game compatible. So if you don't have like any of the other like game packs, expansion packs, stuff packs. It is base game compatible, so you can have it, even though you have the base game, it still works, so that's all you need. But if you have kid room stuff, it's a lot much better because you get, like, the puppet show, you get the Vincritter machine, a whole bunch of different other things that came with kid room stuff you can kind of incorporate with this uh, mod. So I think having kids room stuff and the base game, of course, and some other packs will make this mod a lot more fun and more interesting to have and play with. So, on the contrary, I have them all, but... I just say that it's, if you don't have other stuff, it still works. So, yeah. So, the kind of cool thing, I don't know why, but it says children can sh will show up in their sleepwear. I don't know why, but it's, like, so cool. Like, you know, like, back in, like, back in the day, I'm, not, I'm like, showing my age. I'm only 20 years old. But, like, you know, when the kids, like, have summer parties or sleepovers or whatever, like, in those movies, where, like, they are in their PJs and have, like, their little pillow or sleeping bag or whatever, just come walking up to the door, knock, 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 I'm like, oh, I'm here for, um, Jason's, uh, sleepover or Brittany's slumber party or whatever, I'm like, oh, that's so cool, I literally cannot wait for my current household to play with this mod, I am, like, low-key ready for them to hold, throw some slumber parties straight up, I just cannot wait, I just cannot wait! Ooh. And so, also, you have, like, some goals that you can actually, that will have you make this summer party or a sleepover successful. So, there's some custom goals, and there's some custom goals for adults as well. Like, you know, you got those those adults downstairs in some random random popcorn, and watch some soap opera TV or whatever. And then, like, they hear little children scream upstairs, like, oh my gosh, wah, wah. I'm like, really? They need to tone it down. So, the adult comes upstairs, like, hey, yo, yo, yo. Tone it down. I'm watching my programs. And then the children say, oh, you know, old people. <laughs> no, but really, uh, you have some custom goals for the for the summer party in general. And then custom goals for the adults. And, like, there's some new buffs for, like, hosting the summer party. So, like, there's also custom rewards. Like, like there's um conversions from the Sims 3 generations. Like, the stereo, that purr purr kitty stereo. There's a closet costume chest. A TV and, like, another TV as well. And that's kind of cool because they kind of incorporate Sims Regenerations into this mod. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so it is like custom, kind of custom content. So if you don't use custom content and you want to use this mod, I guess you got to make an exception saying, okay, I'm going to use this mod only for my own gameplay. But yeah, so keep in mind that um, only, wait, it says, keep in mind that this mod will, keep in mind only use the interaction certainly available in the game so no actually working sleeping bags oh that's so lame i wish we could like have sleeping bags but um but you can check out and use the air matches for your sim sometimes kids sleep during the party and sometimes you can't control that so that, that's kind of weird but i don't know maybe that would be kind of cool to download that too so that might so that would be near to impossible for me to mod in okay totally understandable but I might actually download the sleepover type of thing, maybe just to, oh, it is, it is actually her, oh, it is. So I might actually download that and kind of incorporate it into that too and kind of see what it's like. But unless I might just use the regular beds that came with the game, but whatever. So how to play this mod is basically you have, you have a host, you have guests, and then you have a grown up. The grown up, well, the guests 
can now go up to 15 guests by max. The hostess can only go up to max of three, and the grown-ups can go to the max of two. So it, the grown-ups can either be adult, t- well, teenagers through older, so parent or guardian, whatever suits your preference, but it has to be like an older sim instead of a child. So that's what you're kind of going with that. So max is 15 for guests, two adults, and three hosts that you, you can have. So that's pretty cool. But I think that this mod's going to be a lot of fun. It can only be on residential lots, which is kind of sad, but still, I'm like, sleepover is residential. Makes more sense to put it in a residential lot. So, yeah. And you can have, like, okay, so it says, okay, the custom the costume chest is interactive and allows your, your child sim to dress up in a costume for from the game or DLC packs that gives you custom buffs, which is so cool. But like you can have like your your Sims like dress up in different costumes, have a little costume party or something like that. I don't know. That's like so iconically kind of cool to have. And there's like some issues with the game too. Well, with the mod itself, but it's kind of whatever. So I I think it's kind of cool to have this mod. So if you guys want to download this mod and have it in your game for funsies or a personal gameplay or whatever you want to do. Or like, or in your own Let's Plays, I will probably, I will, no, not probably, I will incorporate this into my Let's Plays, of course, because why not? Because, literally, why not? So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this portion of the video, kind of explaining on what this mod is really about, and what can, what you can do, and some, like, goals that you can set, and, and also some other things as well. So, I will link this, I will link this mod down below, along with the Sleepover Stuff CC set, if you guys want to use that as well, to incorporate that into your, uh, Sleeper for mods. So yeah, I will see you guys in the actual game and then I will um, go in and kind of explain what it's about and a little bit more interactive. So I will see you guys then. Alrighty guys, so we are back into the game and as you can see here, little miss uh, lady here is really, really, um, <laughs> she's a little bit of a stressed out right now because she, because it was a fire at the house because the mom basically kind of set the kitchen on fire so i kind of fixed that anyway but i'm in the game now and i wanted to show you guys little stuff that we kind of we can kind of uh do here for the slumber party mod so i have my three kids here i have jonathan i got corlette and then kelly so this is like the decide family that i actually kind of created for my dine out lp well not my dine lp for the dine out uh game pack actually so i think that they are kind of a cool family to play with so they are up on the gallery if you guys want to download them actually and this this is a house actually I kind of created myself. It's a colonial house. I kind of created myself. So quite proud of it. Really quite proud of it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get started with kind of press play. And so basically this mod is kind of fun. So we're going to go ahead and actually go to the phone and choose plan a social event because she's going to be very, very social today. It's like I'm number one. Yay. So it says select it. So the summer party right here. And I was, I was seeing that play date was a thing too. Not really sure if that was part of the mod or not, but if you guys have this mod, please let me know down, down below. Cause I kind of want to, I'm kind of figuring out, figuring that out too. Cause I'm not really sure if it is or not, but I think it is, but I'm not going to test that out though. But here's the summer party, um, summer party, uh, party. So it says throw a summer party for yourself and all your friends. Stay up all night having fun eating snacks and watching TV. Go level reward. Goal level rewards include a new a new child's television. Ooh, interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I said host, and you can actually choose up to like the well, actually eight, not three, but you know what I mean. So we're gonna choose Colette, and then for the guests, you can go select up to fifteen. We only have like about seven friends, so that's just gonna select all of them, and I think that's kind of a, a doable thing. And for the grown up, we can choose at least two. So I'm gonna choose the father and the mother much easier for that for them to like to control the party and let's see i choose our house so yeah Ooh, look at this okay and look 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 at it oh wait wait hold up hold up hold up hold up are you are you in your pjs pjs <gasps> look at she's in her pjs look at that she's in her pjs <gasps> wait what's where's the other ones he's in his pjs and then she's in uh She's in her PJs. You look pretty mad, though. <gasps> look at that. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Wait, hold up. She's an adult, and she's wearing bartender clothes. What is that? That's kind of inappropriate, but the uh, kids should be showing up very, very soon. Hopefully. Oh, look. Here they go. <gasps> look. Oh, my gosh. Why is everyone mad? But look. We got her PJs. 
he's in his underwear. That's not what PJs are. <laughs> but um, that's what we got there. And that's like, okay, <gasps> he got his PJs, his PJs. Oh my gosh, you guys. His mod is even better than I thought. So we got some goals over here. So the perform a puppet show, have a grown up cook a meal, watch Kids Network, socialize. Oh my golly gee gosh. Oh, oh yeah. And like I did download the the sleepover stuff actually. So I wanted to show you guys that real quick before we get started. So I did actually kind of redesign this house a little bit more just to kind of expand it. So I did place more beds and then I expanded this little area over here. So let me show you the the kids. That's a destroyed one. Dang. Well, let me go and show you all this stuff right here before I get started. So custom content. And there are several things over here already. So we got your random, let me, where am I going to place it? I don't know. I'm going to place it in this hallway real quick. But we got your air mattress here. Oh, it's like a little simple, simple air mattress. It looks, it kind of looks like this one, but it's kind of more for the outdoor treat kind of thing. And we got your uh, beanbag chairs in different colors. That's kind of cool, right? And then we have your twister mat. Oh, twister. Just a mister. And then we got your sleeping bags as well that kind of goes along with it too. Oh, wait, right there. And then we got your TVs that you can uh, you have to unlock if you to achieve like bronze, silver. Like for for the gold, you basically get the summer party reward. It says the Barnet Fire Dome TV, and then as well as the Slimmer's version TV. And for the silver level, well actually for the bronze, you get the stereo, and then for the silver or higher, you get the costume chest. So if you want to achieve those goals and get those, and then you should achieve those goals. That makes zero sense. But still, you know what I mean? I think it's kind of fun to actually have that. These are just basically clutter items. You can't really use them as, uh, what's it called? You can't really use them as, like, interactive stuff, which is kind of crazy. But still, you get what you're getting. Don't throw a fit. But that's what I like about this mod. It's kind of cool. And then got your checkerboard stuff right here as well as Monopoly, Game of Life, and... So, sorts of other things as well. So, I think that's kind of cool. I'm going to place these, like, out here still so they can actually sit or sleep, whatever they want to do. I'm going to leave it the way it is because I like it. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, let's going to get started with this little slumber party party thing right here. So, drink a glass of nectar. That's, let's not do that today, okay? So, let's go ahead and have little you lady, uh, you, go ahead and actually cook a meal for the little kiddos. And we're going to serve a dinner of, you know what, we're going to cook fish flipping tacos because have her do that for real quick and then he's just playing some piano which is kind of fine very badly so colette where are your where are your um friends your friends over here so we got lucas and munch and I think the other kids are up yeah they're all upstairs oh my gosh what are they what are they holding eden what are you holding but let's go ahead and do a friendly introduction towards all of our friends here see how they're doing see what they're up to and Kind of everyone's already up in here, which is okay, I guess. I'm not sure why, but okay. Oh, Eric, like, we're going to talk to you, too. Can I actually repair this myself? Oh, well, I can't. Okay, whatever. Uh, you can't repair it yet, but that's okay. So, oh, no, that's the wrong person, actually. Yeah, so Eden, well, yeah, actually, you come upstairs and chat with your, your friend. So we're going to go and goof around. We're gonna go ahead and monkey around too. Have everyone else come up here too, cause you're you're all hostess, right? You're all hostess. They need to stop being sad for a second, cause I don't got time for this. For introductions towards everyone, so everyone should be over. here. Well, not everyone is over here, but everyone else. They got some people over here, and then we got some people downstairs. But they should be coming upstairs very soon. I want them to come and watch my puppet show. So hopefully this counts as socializing. Though we have the grown-up cooking the meal, which is great. So, let's see. Colette, are you chatting with your friends? You aren't. Why aren't you chatting with your... Oh, 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 oh whoa, whoa. <laughs> she asked, do you have to pee? Oh, that counts as one. Dang. Dang. Well, we're going to go and brighten his day. And I think for this mod, it's like you have your kids kind of socialize with your friends. Like, it's like, you know, like they meet friends in school and also other things like that, but you can have them invite, you can invite them over to your house and then they can like kind of play around and, and talk to them and just have a little bit more funsy. So have a midnight snack as well. What? I don't know. That'd be kind of cool, right? So we're going to have you go over ahead and go over here and actually perform a puppet show for school life for, let's see, for all your friends right here. So Eric, 
and these people right here. So I'm going to perform a type of show for them and do that and get out that out of the way. But overall, what do you think of this mod so far? It's like it's kind of a it's a fun interactive mod for your kids to socialize with your with their friends a lot more and kind of like learn more about the aspects of kids. Like kids like you only don't have like the toddler stage anymore as of right now, but you have like the child fate, like life stage. So you can basically kind of okay, you need to stop being sad, come on. But you can uh, kind of have your uh you can kind of like play around with your children a lot more than usual which is fun so she's gonna go play a puppet show here she goes school life Ooh, there's a nice classroom over here everyone should be sitting down as well oh i'm taking a picture of this so 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 cool i like that i love it so much one i wonder what kind of interactions we can actually get with this mod i'm not really sure if there were interactions or not but i kind of do want to know hmm so friendly interactions uh let's see oh we can actually trade in critters which is i actually kind of want to play that later on and through about candy oh well they're all kind of enjoying the puppet show it's kind of fun right do they love it? Do they hate it? What's going on? What? What? Twa? Twa? Oh, the te I guess that's what the teacher and that's what the, the student, but she looks more like a teacher than a student. But who knows? But I don't care. But let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. And for the for this, actually, I kind of explained it a little bit more. Um, So what I've learned is that with the puppet show and as you basically level up your social skill, you basically can like unlock more puppet shows so that's kind of cool to know and i think that's kind of fun to like incorporate in this mod as well like have more puppet shows to display for your friends to watch and i think it'd be kind of cool right i think it'd be really really cool to play with oh so they got a midnight snack here i see i think you got yourself some gourmet fruit cake and then you got some fish tacos well how convenient of you Let's have you go over here and, and continue working on your um, job here. So, yeah. <laughs> so, everyone should else be coming up here because I want them to play some Vin Critters. Play some Vin Critters, kid kitties. So, battle that with, uh, let's see, we're going to battle Lucas Munch with, yeah, we're going to battle you. Okay, you go over here. No, stop, stop. Okay, yo, 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 Eric. Oh, no, Eli, Ellis. I oh, don't know. But he's playing that, 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 he, he's gonna really, like break his head, neck. Okay, so I, I, I do you wanna see this little Vin Critter thing? Okay. So they got their little, they got their little players. I don't know why. This kind of reminds me of Pokemon and Battleship, like, combined together, like, the little, like, the board thing right there, and then, like, Pokemon characters, basically. And hence, the Void Critters have been born. What, 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 is, what, 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 what's going on? Oh, that's the lake. Okay, I'm like, what's going on, on the backside? But overall, I love it to pieces, and it's kind of fun. So, what do you have? Where are you at? Where is she? Is she still in there? That's not. Oh, she finished. Okay, makes sense. That's cool. Well, it's gonna have you talk to Eli over here. We're gonna do a friendly introduction so we can get that that bronze level there, because I kind of want to get there. I'm not sure why. No. Okay, it's, it says it's going down, but I'm not really sure. I don't see like the whole thing. Kind of clocking down a little bit more, but oh, whatever, 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 what is <laughs> so overall, there's some goals that you can actually set and you can get some rewards. And I kind of want to like reach up to like, the goal level because that'd be kind of fun and kind of like have in this gameplay like this new stuff, like very, very new stuff. Like, we're lacking some stuff as of right now. I, like, y you can say that right now because I know that we're lacking some stuff, but could be sorry. But having this mod and like having your kids, it, it kind of expands the kids, like the kids' room stuff, in kind of more of a get together before the kids. It kind of expands more into a broader term. So if you have get together and kids' room stuff, and you want to have this mod and you want to like expand those two things together, you can totally do that, and that's kind of cool. Okay, no, okay, yo, yo, okay, we need to have you put some clothes on, but let's not because I want to um actually have a fun time. And do the button candy. <gasps> Wait, what what happened here? <gasps> Wait, did you win? Did you win? What did you win? The art of battle. Colette studied the, her opponent's moves carefully as she was handed a close a close loss. That won't happen again. Oh, she lost? What? Well, Lucas. Next time, 
you will lose. Cause I, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, you'll, you know, you're just, you're just gonna lose. You will just lose, and just lose. Like he looks very confident right now. Like he honestly looks very, very confident. Like, you know what? I won and you lost. So um, you can just suck it, loser. <laughs> Pretty much that's what his iconic mood is right now. It's like he, I won, you lost. So now get over it, okay? Thanks very much. So let's do that candy a little bit more. Just one more, so we can get that thing out the way. Okay, we got the goofy story out the way, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the lovely. <gasps> have a grown up tell. Ooh, read a bedtime story. Shut the front door. Hold up. Wait, how do we do that actually? So have a grown up pick out a children's book from the shelf and have them read it to the kids. <gasps> yes. Okay. So okay, you go. go. Where are you at? Where's okay? This is what the grown ups are for. Yes. Okay. We're gonna have you go ahead and open this bookshelf and let's see. Do we have any kids book? I think we do. Science fiction, mystery, romance. Where are the kids' books in here? Hold up. Time for sandwiches. Okay, I might have to buy a book real quick. So, boat, purchase a book. Yeah, I have to purchase a book because honestly, apparently, I don't have a kids' book for my kids to um, enjoy. So, children's book. We're going to go ahead and actually get, let's see. Oh, I, oh, that's a kids' book? Oh, I didn't know. Well, that's interesting. Well, we're going to go ahead and read to child. Oh, we can choose all of them. Well, we're going to read it to all of them. So have you go ahead and grab a book and then go ahead and tell oh, he's in his attire for the grown up wear. Oh, and it's 1 a.m. Literally, we're staying up all night having funsies. So that we should have. Oh, well, that's not how you read it to a child. It's like I open the book and then I close the book. OK, it's like once upon a time, the end. Really? That's kind of. Oh, they come down. Oh, they come downstairs and kind of enjoy the book, too. Oh, it's pretty interesting to know. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's like once upon a time, back in my day, I, I used to be so cool, but now I'm not. <laughs> like, unconically, my life. So apparently, we have a gold level already, which is kind of fun. So we have all of our kids down here, kind of sort of all, pretty much almost all the kids. But we are gonna go and have you, little Missy, actually call to the meal to everyone. So oh, let's not put in the inventory. Call the meal. We're gonna have you call to the meal to everyone so they can. Actually, get some food for like a late night, a late night stack. So hopefully, everyone comes down here too. So, yeah, they do. Okay, good, sweet. So all the kids come down here. And they grab the little snacks, the little midnight snack, and we got a gold level medal summer party. Sweet. So now that we have that for a gold level, it says what a great summer party. You, your guests had an amazing time, and you and you made new friends. Check your household inventory to see what new rewards have in store for you. <gasps> Oh, that's so cool. And they kind of, just, like, once the party is over, they tend to change back into their everyday wear. And I believe they just head home. So, for the mood list, what you get for the slumber party as being a host. It says, amazing slumber party. Jonathan had an absolutely amazing slumber party. He and all his friends had the best night ever by hosting a slumber party. That is so cool. And I think that's kind of fun. Do they get any mood lists, actually? Um, they actually kind of do. So, party... And that thing from attending a party, there's nothing like having a good time with other people to bond uh, its spirit. Okay, that's, I guess how you say that word, but still, all the Sims had a fun time hosting and having and attending the party. So, for the household inventory, basically, what you kind of get, like I said, you get the kids' TV, and I believe you get the, all the other items as well. So, let's go and check our household inventory. <gasps> Ooh, so we actually do get all three of them, which is wait, do we get all three of them? No, no, we just get three of them. So we get the TV, and then we get this one right here. We get the chest, the TV, and then the stereo as well. And I kind of want to do that. So I think for like the next birth summer party that we'll have, end up having, is that now that we have this, we can kind of um, basically incorporate the chest and then the stereo and like the TV all in one for the kids to like play with and have more fun interactions to go along with it. So that's going to be kind of a cool thing to have. I'm going to sell this i don't need it it's broken so no need to have that and then for the stereo i love it can you recolor them you can actually so these come in different colors so like the yellow the pink the purple that hot pink and so there's like assortment of different colors as well along with this toy chest so these are current versions from the sims 3 generations so if you guys do not know so these are kind of inspired from the Sims 3 generations. Like in Sims 3 generations, your children can actually kind of dress up. Like they had this, this toy chest 
and they can basically kind of dress up as what they want and it's kind of cool so and also we got the tv right here and they come in different colors as well so that's pretty cool to have as well for certain summer parties or parties in general technically so we're gonna have one of my kids sims come, actually come up here and kind of dress up as some type of i don't know some type of like little you know like a little aftermath kind of fun so i'm gonna have all my little children sims come upstairs and kind of like try and try out some stuff so come upstairs, little kitties, try out some new toys. So we're going to turn on the stereo. So we're going to turn this on to, to uh, let's see, tween pop. So kind of like that little stereo, like regular stereos. And for Kala, I'm going to have you, so transform into a bear, a hot dog, a pirate, a princess, or a skeleton. Sweet doggy dogs. So we're going to dress into a hot dog. And then we're going to have you dress up, transform into a bear. And I'm going to have you transform into a princess. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, I want, I want to see what she trans... I want, look at her little weenie. She looks like a little weenie. Oh, little weenie weenie. Oh, little hot dog with your ketchup and your mustard arms and your bun and your weenie. <laughs> oh, and she's eating a fish taco. That is so flippity flip cool. Okay, I'm going to have you a hot dog person come over there. And then I'm going to have you go ahead and transform into a bear. Come on, go over here. Transform into a bear. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Look at him. Look at my little berry bear. My berry bear. Oh, he looks ter He looks terrifying. Like, literally terrifying. That's horrifying. It's like, what in the world are you wearing? The party's over. Time to go to bed because we got school in the morning. Okay. <laughs> but honestly, that is so flip. Like, look at this little bear costume. That's so cool. I love that. And then I'm going to have you dress into a princess because I want to see what that is like. Okay, dress into a princess. Did you transform to a... <gasps> you did. Look at her little princess outfit. That is so flippity flip. Cool. I love it. <gasps> I really love it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this video off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below all your thoughts and suggestions. Please let me know what you guys think of this mod in a whole. If you will download it, if not... And, um, yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are, if you'll download it or not. And, um, yeah, come right and subscribe. And follow me on my social media as Twitter and Instagram by Spring Sims. And, uh, yeah, it'll be all in the description below. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!